but they sure took up a lot of room. And I'm yeah. really looking forward to seeing all look of so this much opened taller? up. Oh, yeah. Well, it's just going to look great. Yeah. So we're demasking. Yeah. And we're going to unmask this house. Let's go check and see what we've already done to change it. And then we're going to take the final mask off. But we <laughs> really, right now, it's a huge transformation from what we already saw. So let's take a look at it. Long time. Oh, my goodness. Man, that dust wall is tall. Yeah, that's a big dust wall. That's just some effort, didn't it? Yeah. I see you have, it on, you have it on two sides down low. Right? That's good. Do you have it on two sides or is it open on the other side? No, I think it's two sides. Yeah. Let's so one side and then it switches to the other side. That's an interesting way to do it. <laughs> I have never seen this in our dust walls, but we have two filters going through here. Yeah, check out those filters. Yeah. Good job. That's that keeps really it from good. blowing off, huh? And here too. And getting fresh air. Yeah. So look at all the dust proofing that had to be done here. It's not a small task. That was not an easy job. Now I know why I saw y'all coming back day after day after day doing dust proofing <laughs> before the demo even got started. But Caleb, you've got some demo going on here now. Yes, sir. And it took out some wall here, or these, or these steel columns, yeah, right? Yeah, steel columns here. Steel columns that were oh, wrapped. Wow. And they were holding up that beam right there. So come over here, Justin. So the steel column that you see right there, where are the steel columns, by the way? Uh, it's outside next to the trailer to be reflected. Okay, we're gonna save them now. And it came all the way up, those columns came all the way up and supported this beam. It was a really pretty beam, too. And it had straps, steel straps on it, right? Yes, sir, a little south. So now what are we doing? So now tell us how this is gonna finish out. This is all gonna be wrapped in oak. All of this? Yes, sir. All of this is going to be wrapped in oak. Oh, this? The, the beam? Yeah, but look at the size of this. Yeah. Look at the size of this, Justin. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. Look at that's the size crazy. of this beam here. And that's fanning and taking care of. The reason that this had to be so large, what is it, a 14 inch? It's a 14, triple 14. Triple 14, which is a huge amount of load, is because there's another load above it, plus it's having to carry this load, plus it's having to carry all of this. All of this that's coming up in here. Show that, Justin. <laughs> so I can carry all of this because this wall that we're that you're next to here is going away. I was gonna say all I'm of this getting... is all of this is going away too, and there's gonna be a beam that's tied into here, right here, and it goes all the way back to there, and that's gonna carry all of that weight. And then there's roof loads on there, right? So that goes all the way up to, to the roof. These walls stand back over here, Justin, to show all these walls that have to that have to get up that have to rest on here so in this particular project because of all the load bearing we had to frame before we could even finish demoing some of the walls that's correct thank you so all this as you see and this wall this here goes up to the roof it's here and so we're carrying those loads here and here and then beyond and another beam does this get another beam yes sir Right here? Uh, no, sir. It's in line with this wall. Just this one? Yes. Sir. What happens to... There is no wall here no, now. Sir, that's why this I'm is just temporary just only. Yes, sir. And this the is kitchen. the last spot that that has to bear on it. Yeah. But it's holding up rafters. How far does that go? Continues on all the way to that wall? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. So that's a big, long beam with a lot of span on it. Man, that's going to look nice covered in oak. This is going to be incredible. So how do they get into there? Oh, there's the door. Yep. So you get into your living room through here, and you get into your kitchen through here. And your entrance. Hey. Right in here. So there's the kitchen. And the entry over here. So three dust. Three walls. doors, lots of dust walls. This is fun to talk about here too. There were steel columns here. This is the wall that was separating us, right? Guys? Yes, sir. This is the last wall between us and the entrance. Yes, sir. 
Okay, so. Is this coming out? What happens here? There's going to be an extra large column here built around this to carry the load. We're going to make it very structural. And the rest of the wall goes away from here to the corner. Where does this go? Right this all builds up right here. No, sir, that's just the little diagram. Oh, okay. It's going to go right here. Yeah, and all the we're wall goes this, away. We're going to incorporate the steel plate. Yeah, there's a steel plate in here, which you hardly ever find. Look at that steel plate. Why don't you stick that steel plate out so I can have it? You're going to keep it, right? We're going to incorporate it, yes, sir. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> also, they have these metal straps which are utilized to help lock it in this direction. Since the steel plate's helping this way, these straps go all the way to help tie it in. And what is that supposed to do? It's supposed to give strength this direction from any down pressure. Which plywood can do it. Yeah. Even the sheetrock. But we're taking that off. Yes. And this and this was open? No, it was all the way framed across. It was it was framed in a pony wall type. Double wall. Okay. Yeah, I was real curious to what these would look like. Did the other ones have that steel in them too? No, sir. Just that well, one. See, these columns were gone before we got here. But oh, they were? The homeowner took those no, out? Yeah, the demo crew. Oh, the demo crew, okay. This was the only the only one that had steel? He doesn't know because the demo crew took them out. I'm gonna have to ask. Well, did you see the steel anywhere laying around? Okay, we'll go outside and look for it. You would see it, I'm sure, if it was laying around. This is probably the only one that's weight-bearing because those were non-structural. How did they know this one was structural and those weren't? We told them, right? Yeah, they, they probably got that from yeah, yeah. So this one is probably the only one that had steel on it since these were non structural. Which is what I had figured out along with. I said, this is probably the only one that, and the rest are just decorative. So remember all those, those columns we had here? I think you'll hear me saying that, and that these were probably not structural. But they sure took up a lot of room, and I'm really looking forward to seeing all it look of so this much opened taller? up. Oh, yeah. Well, this is going to look great. And. When these walls are gone that we built, now it's making it feel smaller. Mm -hmm. But when this is open, just stand back there. Stand back there, Justin, and look right about there is where the entrance is. And you're going to be able to see all the way through. This was here before. I know we did this before. But pretty soon you're going to be able to see all the way to the backyard. And that's, that's a lot of fun. It's going to be awesome. So even this is being relocated, right? Uh, yes, sir. All that's being relocated into the ceiling, into that other wall there. So this bar, we're going to be able to see all the way through. Well, this is going to be a little, this is, this is a challenging project, wouldn't you agree? It's challenging, but fun. You like it? Because yeah. it's going to be really dramatic, huh? Definitely a big change. Yeah. I thought so too. All right, I'll keep, I'll keep trying to get more clients like this for you, Caleb. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, y'all. So we're ready for the next phase soon. When we come in here, it's gonna look a lot different.